The plan today is to fly from Pitt Meadows Airport along the Sunshine Coast to Seashell for one of our favorite rainforest hikes. Janine almost always leads the pre-flight inspection while I check the tires and fuel. Zeus's job is to supervise and make sure we don't miss anything. Seashell isn't far, but we still like to get a full weather briefing and file a flight plan for a little extra safety. I'm on the phone here with the briefers at Pacific Radio, who cover the province from their headquarters in Kamloops, BC. That's going to be 5526. 5526. Now, as far as the weather goes, uh, you know what? Before takeoff, Janine is going through one final set of engine and system checks under high power. It's a procedure commonly called a run up. The weather has improved significantly in the last hour or so. This morning we thought the flight might have to be cancelled. Runway 26 left, facing west, is the main runway at Pitt Meadows. I really enjoy takeoffs, which this slightly loaded Cessna on a cool day easily handles. The Portman Bridge is one of the main crossings over the Fraser River and marks the western edge of the Pitt Meadows airspace. Today we're not going to fly that way. We're heading northwest towards Port Moody and the Burrard Inlet. This route takes us past Deep Cove, which is one of the many beauties of the Vancouver Lower Mainland. And then along the Burrard Inlet. Air traffic control is keeping us on the north side, away from the seaplane traffic departing downtown Vancouver. Just as we cross into the Howe Sound area, we learn from another pilot that our destination Seashell, only 20 miles ahead, is under a low overcast. We could safely get in, but might not be able to get out again later. Janine makes the good decision to turn around and return to Pitt Meadows. So it's back over the cargo ships anchored in English Bay, over Stanley Park, which is the largest inner city park in North America, and along the south shore this time, with a nice view of downtown Vancouver. Janine takes us back to Port Moody, a common route back into Pitt Meadows airspace. The weather here has improved even more in the short time we were away. Too bad it was poor at Sea Shelt. I said how much I enjoyed takeoffs, but I have to admit, the approach and landing is awfully cool. On the ground, the wind is calm, but on approach, here at 500 feet, Janine is compensating for a tailwind. Janine did a great job and also remember to ask ground control to close our flight plan. We taxied back to our parking spot and hit the aero club for the picnic we were going to have in Seashell.